Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a shifter rebuild on the NB Miata. Uh, Calvin's been working on the car the whole day. So tell them what you've been doing. transmission fluid change and then a diff fluid change and then i was like might as well just do the shifter rebuild while i'm doing the transmission fluid so all right show us the show us the rebuild kit real so quick basically let me see. i have the upper boot um some of this no, i don't know what it's called but <laughs> i've had a we got the um the uh, brass, I uh, forgot what this was called. And then we had the uh, uh, lower boot. And then where did you get this from? I got this from 5X Racing. All right, well, we're gonna leave the link in the description so you could pick one up for yourself. But this is currently what the shifter assembly looks like. And there's some stuff down there. All righty. And then we got the racer shift knob. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> what step is this? So you're just taking all the dirty fluid out of the turret. So we are dumping the fluid into a water bottle. That's usually the most common method because it's convenient. But here's what it looks like. Here's the brass shifter bushing. Oh shit, we almost dropped it. But it's looking pretty clean. Soon it'll be installed. All right. It just replaces this one right here, the plastic one. So what's the benefit of having the brass one? Uh, you have less uh, slop. So when you're shifting gears, if you're in a gear with the plastic one, there's a lot of side to side movement. Uh -huh. This one kind of solidifies each gear and there's little movement as you shift. For sure. This is more precise. All right, so he's uh, gonna replace the fluid now. I believe we bought this on Amazon, so we'll leave the link to, uh, for it in the description. But um, just gotta be careful not to spill because these chemicals are abrasive. Here's a little close up. Now he's gonna put some MT90 fluid in there. I believe he said it's a mixture, so. All right, so he's prying, prying off the, he's prying off the stock uh, plastic bushing. It's a little bit of a, a pain but there we, oh, go. there we go there we go all right so now he's gonna cut the inner shift boot plastic um ring well that one was way faster than the bushing but that's because you just kind of have to break it off and here it comes more breaking things off <laughs> some over yep there you go all right so now he's uh working on the inner bushing just basically cutting it off because uh we have all new parts of that um so this stuff really just could go unless you really want to keep it but i don't think you can really take it off without destroying it make sure to use some strong tools because uh some of these parts are pretty strong. All right, so these cutters are good for thin sheet metal, but if things don't work out, you gotta go the hood method. So you take this shit off. This is the ghetto. I don't give a fuck anymore method. <laughs> shit. And then have a buddy hold this shit. There you go. Yo, that was easy. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Just be careful taking this shit off because the metal is very sharp. You get your pliers. Sometimes you got to go back to basics with these things. There you go. And then this can just slide off through the top. Perfect. So this is the bare 
shifter, no bushings, which just needs a brake cleaner. So this has a lot of old uh, trans fluid and, and um, it just gets black. So it, it's, uh, it's good to just clean this off before you reinstall it. So we, we got some brake cleaner right here. Uh, if you don't, if you have plants in your yard that you don't like, you could just spray it over the, those plants and get it nice and clean. And those plants probably won't be there the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so essentially you just have to put back the parts that you took off, but so it's pretty simple. You just have to memorize how uh, what order they went in and which uh, areas they were on. So here's one piece. There you go. Starting to look like a shifter again. But we're about to put on the brass um, shift bushing. And it just drops into the... And then back into place. You That's literally it. just drop it back into place like you said. And then this part goes over on top of this. Alright, let's get that in there. It's in. It's in. Nice. Jesus. There. Where's the other one? Yeah. Get that one on the other side. Screwing on his shift knob. There you go. Test it out, boy. Damn. This thing is solid. There you go. All right. So here's the upper sh upper shift boot. Um, it needs to go right there. So essentially fits just like like the leather part is just what goes underneath it though it's kind of dark because uh it's about six that's it and there it is it into place hardly in the plane Shifter rebuild was a success. Now we just gotta get this on. We're back at it again. It's almost 10 o'clock, but uh, the job's not done, so gotta finish it up. Getting the whole center console assembly. Um, it's one piece, so that makes it a little easier. Uh, just gotta kind of wiggle it back into place, make sure to connect the wiring uh, properly. Okay, so it's almost on. Uh, obviously, it's not bolted down, but this is how it should look. All right, so the shift knob is getting put back on. Uh, Calvin uses a little extension, but uh, we're basically done with the shifter rebuild. How's it feel? Really good. Might have to get some driving footage. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next upload. All right, so first driving test with the new shifter rebuild. Go for it, boy. Woo!
also just changed out all the fluids, so she's running really, uh, really well right now. Alrighty, another test for the car to see how she's running. Oh my god, this guy. 